Time to take a moment, but is that enough to understand what's happened in Afghanistan? After a year of not losing one American life in combat, we lose 12 in one afternoon. Some military leaders apparently not surprised, saying we knew this was going to happen in some form or fashion sooner or later. Really? When I was a kid, and let's say the dog knocked something off the table with its tail, and I would say, well, I knew that was going to happen, my mom and dad would say, well, then it's your fault. If you knew it was going to happen, and you did nothing to keep it from happening, then you'd let it happen and you get the blame. There will be plenty of blame for the soup sandwich we're seeing now in Kabul. Mind you, the men and women of the U.S. military, the ones on the ground, will by and large get none of it, and they don't deserve it. They are doing the job, and we are seeing now dying in the process. Many were babies when this whole thing began. I don't know what the discussions were, but the U.S. generally doesn't cut and run. Yes, there is Vietnam, and boy, those who said this wouldn't be that were wrong. We left troops and bases in Germany after World War II just to keep an eye on things and to help out. They're still there. We have bases in Japan as well. After the Korean War, we left troops there, still have a base there. If we didn't want this to be like the way we left Vietnam, we should have not left Afghanistan the way we left Vietnam. I'm not saying I have a solution. Without a doubt, I'm not the guy to look to for that. But this should have begun years ago. If we knew this was something that was going to happen, we should have known how to avoid it. Did I mention Vietnam? We learned at a very early age that the bully will always punch you in the back of the head on his way by because bullies are wimps. So here we are, nothing short of a logistical nightmare. Internationally, on the surface, the U.S. is getting sucker punched while walking out the door. Now our troops are in battle trim for more combat in and around Kabul. And are we going to just now sit back and go, let's just get the heck out of there with as few casualties as possible? Cut our losses because cutting ties is more politically important. Politicians aren't very good at war. I fear too many of them are sticking a finger in this cake. I have no doubt the U.S. military will find the group and individuals who did this, and that'll be the end of them. Either way, our life-saving mission now has a cost. We are paying the highest possible price. We can, in good faith, say we didn't start this, but can we feel good about how we ended it? Take a moment.